What is up guys? Today we uh we got a special review for you guys. Um today I'm gonna be showing you my 2013 SSR 125. I'm gonna give you my full review on the bike. Uh what I think of it. Is it powerful enough? Um do I like it? Yeah. Other than that, I guess we'll uh We'll get into the review. On the back, it comes stock with 12 inch rims. Um, so, you know, they're kind of small. But if you get a uh, nice dirt bike tire on the back, regular motocross tire, you'll get better traction. I recommend you do that because most of them come stock with a tire like this on the front, an enduro tire. Um, I de definitely recommend you change that because I'm going to be changing the front tire and getting a new back tire as well soon. The exhaust that comes with it, um, it's pretty, pretty nice. It sounds really good. I can't complain about it. Gets the job done and it looks really nice. It just comes stock with the 2013 model and pretty sure the 2014. Air filter, originally it looks like this, the blue. Um, I actually got this over because when I'm riding, hitting puddles and stuff and washing the bike, I tend to get water into the carb through the filter and uh, yeah, the bike doesn't want to start once there's water in the carb. So I've got like an extra layer of protection, a little splash proof. Um, suspension. That's a big thing a lot of people ask about. The forks are not inverted, and yeah, I'd rather than be inverted, I can buy a suspension kit for a good price, but all around, for these being so small and looking like they're not doing much, they actually get the job done really well, and I can't complain at all, really. Um, the mono shock pretty decent it gets the job done as well um, I don't really jump the bike like not extreme jumping to be an ass or nothing I'm just simply trail riding having a good time and uh, enjoying the bike um, it uh, power wise the bike has a lot of torque it's, a, it's very surprising because a lot of people when they look at the bike they think wow such a small bike and I'm like, yeah, well, wait till I start it up and you hear this bad boy. And once people ride it and everything, they're like, wow, this thing's crazy. Um, disc brakes in the front and the back. I currently don't have the brake on the back because I need to get new brake pads. And I just figured I'd take it off just to clean it up. Um, until that, I'm just using the front brake. It's working. Oh, it's working all right. It's getting the job done, so can't complain. I covered the CDI box with a uh, just a regular plastic little garbage bag or shop and save type of bag. Taped it up just to keep it more waterproof. Um, nothing too crazy. What else should I do? Well, this right here. This is your stock spring that they give you for your uh, to engage your clutch on here. It pops into a hole over here, and this applies pressure to hold it down and up and down but it's junk I recommend you do something real simple if you do have the skid plate you just drill a small little hole through the skid plate around right here where you can see where I drilled mine get yourself a nice heavy duty spring attach it to the skid plate and then straight to the control arm right here and you'll see that uh, obviously it has a lot of pressure to keep the clutch fully engaged so you're not riding and riding the bike halfway engaged with the clutch and damaging the motor because there's a uh, there's there was a time where I was riding and when the spring failed I'm riding the bike and like it's engaging and like I'm feeling the clutch jumping I'm like what the hell is going on here so then I took a look obviously I'm just leaving this on here for emergency purposes just in case this one would fail or break off and be lost I can hurry up and pop this on with my hand and it'll uh It'll get the job done just to get me to where I need to go. But it uh, it keeps the clutch nice and tension. It's real nice. Um, I got the lever pretty. Everything's set real nice, but the clutch works really good. 
I recommend you do that just to uh, make sure that you have no problems while riding because it's just not fun when you're riding and your clutch goes out, you know, it's just obviously the clutch is not burning out, but you get the point. Other than that, I've been riding the bike for about three days straight now. Um, I've been beating on it. It does, dude claimed he put a new piston and rings in it. Um, I think he did. I've been riding it, you know, to the standard that you're supposed to do a break-in procedure. Now it's at the point to where it's properly broken in, in my opinion. But uh, other than me just sitting here talking... Let's let's get to the business or let's start this bad boy up because I know a lot of you guys complain that I don't make long enough videos. Um, so I'm going to make a more in-depth video here. Alright, let's start this bad boy up. <laughs> All around the motor sounds great. Sounds like it's working great. No weird noises. Um, can't complain at all. The bike's been running great for me. It idles great. Every, it's been doing great. For a Chinese pit bike, um, I give it an 8 out of a 10. For a Chinese pit bike, 8 out of 10. It's currently about, I don't know, I'd say 25 degrees outside. It's just starting to snow. Let's give her a little rev. It's so loud. Like, my neighbors actually complained the other day saying that whatever is in my garage and I'm revving, it needs to be turned down. It's pretty funny. You'd be surprised this is very, very loud. But yeah, I'm going to let this idle for a little bit, let it warm up. Uh, I'm not going to take it for a spin today because it's just ridiculously cold outside and I just don't feel like it. Uh, might ride it down the driveway or something and ride a little wheelie up, but that's about it. Um, Matter of fact, I might just do that for you guys real quick. Ride a little wheelie or something and then cut the video.
definitely a uh, little wheelie machine. It loves wheelies. Uh, I haven't got to practice them that much, as you can see. <laughs> but once I get a little bit more riding time in on this bad boy, uh, I think we'll be uh, having a good time. Just want to say thanks for watching today, guys. Make sure you go check out Quad Racers on YouTube as well. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for checking out the channel, and we appreciate the support. And uh, other than that, hope you guys like the newest edition. Something cheaper, save a little bit more money, and uh, you know, something to have fun on. Not burn all that two-stroke gas and just two strokes are a pain in the ass and they cost a lot so without further ado hope you guys have a good day thanks for watching